time recently and it seemed that you, you guys are both giving each other credit on just wanted to I want to see if you can elaborate what that oh uh, Mark Mark Breeman yeah um, you know, he's a trainer that really don't really don't say too much um, one of the best amateurs ever um, and two-time world champion as a professional yeah. I'm not mistaken yeah. you know I'm a, I'm a real student of the, of the game real student because and um, and my dad always knew that I was gonna be a hell of a fighter because I was a student that can learn all three ways, hearing, seeing, and doing. Um, Mark Breland, hell of a trainer, a great guy. Remember, I was, I was just up there talking about that, up there. When the fighters win, they get all the credit. Mm -hmm. Then when a the fighter lose, <laughs> the fighters say, it was the trainer for <laughs> Floyd, one it week. Is what it is. Floyd, one week from tonight, you're going to get named the Fighter of the Decade 2010s at the Boxing Writers Dinner in New York. Which I really should be getting Fighter of the last two decades, and you know that. <laughs> I'll put in the word. But what does that what does that mean to you? I mean, obviously, you just talked about being remembered. You have been remembered as one of the greats of all time. What when you take that award, what are you going to think of? What are you going to think of what you've accomplished in your career? I'm the Fighter of the Decade. I'm, uh, I'm the Fighter of the last century, honestly. And, and, and it's a reason why I'm the, fight, the best fighter of the last 100 years. The credentials sh show it. And I went out there and showed it. What's better than one out there <clears throat> being world champion for what, tw what 20 years? Mm -hmm. uh, box office, mm -hmm. I got the record. Pay-per-view, I got the record. I ain't wanna, it's better to win half five world titles than four at one particular time. So, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, they're gonna always have their opinion about me. I'm always be who I am. I'm always speak from the heart, and knowing that um, when I went out there, I get I gave it 100 percent. Whether I was 100 percent when I went in there or not, I always gave it 100 percent. Well, you just got done talking about it. a lot of these guys, including yourself, had the scratch and claw for that recognition. The fact that you finally got it at the highest level does. Do you take a big measure of satisfaction with that? The best thing about my career was, was the bronze medal. Mm. Best thing. Because? It made me work hard. I know I won, but I, w I didn't want to leave no doubt. And you see, through, all throughout my career, they've been, they've been trying to uh, cut my throat. I fight Canelo, they, what they call it, the ma majority decision? Yeah. I fight Canelo, some, some judge had it a draw. I fight Oscar, somebody had it a split. Come on, man. Oh, it's, it's, not, it's not good for the sport of boxing. And, and we talked about this, the scoring. Scoring in boxing is getting, it's getting worse. I don't like it, and I went to the, I, I went to the WBC convention because, whether I want to or not, you guys may say this, but I'm still a face of boxing, and I'm going to go up. I'm, I went there to speak up for all fighters. I didn't go just to speak for black fighters. I went there to speak for all fighters, and have all fighters back and say. These guys need to be treated fair. What's your recommendation, five judges? You, how important is it for you to stick up for fighters of all races? You seem to really frame that a lot in your conversation, that it's not just about a black or a white or a Mexican. You seem to care about boxing as a whole. Talk to us about that. I mean, of course, because I have fighters from all walks of life. And, and it, you know what's so crazy that I laugh at every day? <clears throat> when sometimes they write these stories, they say, maybe what the promotions, only fighter they got is Tank. If y'all think that, if, if y'all believe that, y'all can believe whatever y'all want to believe. Meaning that you can't, a fighter can't say, I'm doing business with Al Heyman, but I'm not doing business with Floyd Mayweather. Or I'm doing business with Floyd Mayweather, and I'm not doing business with Al Heyman. That PBC could be Pretty Boy's Champion. <laughs> I don't really want to tell y'all. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Why did you sign Javante Davis in the first place? What 